Okay, so let's continue finding the right solution for this project because we cannot achieve the 200 lux on this one and this one is almost close because this is 188 and this one is oh becomes less now okay so what do we have to do now is look for other luminaire which is a little more narrower or a little wider so yeah let's play with it so i'll go back now here at loom search and i will try to see on the optic the the best on the optic side the best luminaire for our um, application okay let's try something like bat wing okay i would like to try this one first even if it's maybe not led yes this is hps or high pressure sodium i just want to see the effect of this one so let's go now and download it oh it's on the zip file hmm okay let's just try it okay so i'm going to upload now that the the batwing luminaire that we selected so import desktop and then here you go i just want to see what will happen if i replace it with this one so i'll go and click one here and then i will replace this oh let me see it doesn't look like a bat wing but anyways let's just look for uh let's let's just try it so i'm going to select this tree and then replace it with that one and then apply i'll say no and then i will delete this one and then uh, okay <laughs> let's see okay it looks it seems okay there you go uh this is now 181 lux and the, the other thing that i just noticed this is 196 wow okay 193 almost close to 200 so i also noticed that these shelves are open that's why there is no bouncing light going here in this side so what i am going to do is i will try to replace it with the box and let's see what will happen okay so let's go and change this one with the box because in the actual situation there are boxes on these shelves so it will be like a, a, a closed surfaces okay so let's remove this one for now and change it with a box like like this one so i'm going to change it now and i'll scale it okay let's close this calculation and i will uh, do it the same height here yeah okay so now uh the light will bounce in this side okay let's open this one and i'm sure if it bounced here on this side then there will light there will be lights going towards on this side so let's go now and calculate and let's see what will happen okay now it's oh my god look at this it becomes 301 perfect this is too much now because our requirement is only 200 lux see now this is the reason why it doesn't achieve much is because of that one there is no bouncing light on this surface because it seems that it's an open shelf so what you're going to do is create a box instead of an open shelf because like what i said before um in reality there are boxes on the shelves and it should be an uh an air this is supposed to be an area that has a lights bouncing on the surface going to the other side okay so i think i can maybe use this one no i will not going to use this one i will still use this one and let's see what will happen So I'm going to replace it now again. Okay, I will change it now and then press apply. And let's see what will happen to that calculation surface.
Okay, let's calculate it now. There you go. So it's 187. Okay. And you can see there's a black dot here. I need to remove this man now here <laughs> because it affects the lux value. So I'll move you now here and then there. And then let's see what will happen. Let's calculate again. Okay. So there you go. Ah, okay. So this is really amazing because the optic really has an effect. So that bat wing is really powerful compared to the optic of this fitting. Okay. Yeah. So let's go now and find that kind of optic in Tulum Search, but should be LED. Okay, so now we are here in this selection. What we need to do is go to this Illuminate and press LED. So it has a filter option. And then we can now find the same optic similar to that one. Well, unfortunately, it looks like it's hard to get that kind of optic in LED. Okay, so there is one here from LED Vans or LED Vans. This is double asymmetric, but it's linear. Or maybe we can use this Philips, Philips fittings and let's see if we can replace it everything with Philips fittings. Okay, so it's a bat wing and it has 25,000 lumen. If we can only find something like 15,000 lumen, it's much better. But let's go and try this one first. So just press send to dialogs. Okay, now it's here and we are about to replace now all these fittings with this bat wing. So I'm just going to place one in the middle first. And then I will select these fittings with that one. So I'll replace it and then apply. And let's check the orientation of the optic. Okay, it seems it's uh, round, so that's okay. And because it has higher wattage or higher lumen output, then maybe we need to reduce the quantity into one, two, three, four, five. So let's just make it four. Yep. And then here we will also replace it. And if only we can find a lower lumen output. So this is gentle space. Let's copy this one and then back. Just add it in the search tab, control V, and then search. Now all the gentle space will be here. And then I can see that there is one here. This is 97 watt. This is 182 watt. And this is 128. This is 97 watt. Okay, let's try this 97 watt. What have we have here? What is the wattage of this? Okay, so this is 182 watt. I think this is perfect. So let's go and check, uh, use this 97 watt. And then let, just press send to dialogs. And then I think it's here now. So let's go and click one here. And then re remove this one. And then let's select this luminaires and replace the selected one with the new one. Okay, and then say no, and then delete this one. And let's see, looking good. So we have one higher lumen output fittings here and then one lower lumen output there. Okay, let's calculate. Oh my God, I loved it. Look, so we achieve the lux value here, which is 206 lux. And this one is 295, but the uniformity is not good because the higher uh, output is on the top. And this one becomes 305. This is too much. And this one is 324. Okay, maybe we can reduce the quantity. And for the floor, it's 361 and 300. And the overall is 286. Okay, maybe we can reduce the quantity of this one now. So this one is three by four by three by four. And then maybe we can make it as three by three only. And then let's compress it a little here. And then let's calculate it now. 
So before it's 305 lakhs. Let's see what will happen if we change it. I so much love this one. So now it's 232 and this one is 244. Perfect. So we just solve our problem and I am so happy. But guys, don't forget this overall uniformity is not so good because it's only 0 0.36, 0 0.37. This one is amazing because it looks 0 0.72, but it reduced. Now it becomes 195. Ah, because I move the luminaire inside this area. Okay, we can spread these fittings a little more close to this one. So it will help some lights go into these small rocks. And then let's calculate. There you go. It's 198. Maybe we can move a little more. <laughs> but that is already done. It's already solved. So yes, congratulations to both of us because we solved this um, problem. And now we can proceed to our next area, which is the sub warehouse, which according to the requirements, it should be linear uh, LED. So we need to find a linear LED. Since we already used the Philips fittings for this one, we can go and check from Philips as well. All right, so let's go.